So we're going to record this, uh, and I'll go over this agenda really quick. So once again, welcome to the FAMU NAA meeting. Uh, we're going to have a quick Nor uh, we're going to have a Norwegian presentation. We'll go over quickly over the group cruise information. We'll have some comments uh, from the uh, FAMU committee, and then we'll open it up to the Q and A. So, Shereen, I'm going to uh, turn this over to you to do the uh, welcome aboard briefing and introduce everyone to Norwegian Cruise Line if they were not able to attend the first uh, meeting. We do, once again, appreciate that you're here. Uh, so, Shereen, take it, take it away. Thank you very much. And hello, everybody. Thank you for joining us. Good evening. And thank you very much for your uh, group series. So I want to give you a brief history of where we're coming from so you guys can see better where we're going. Uh, you've got to remember when Norwegian Cruise Line started, this was 1966, and remember that back in those days, cruising wasn't uh, for fun. It was still a form of transportation to get you from point A to point B and back again. So when two partners in a Norwegian shipping line at that time had the vision to go ahead and say, let's start a cruise line that people will take vacations on board, add a few bells and whistles to make it fun for them, uh, and then went even further to say, let's base it in Miami. At that time, Miami was a major, still is, a major shipping port. It's the entry into the U.S. from the Caribbean and South America. Um, so it wasn't a fun place to be at that time, but they had the vision. Uh, fast forward 50 years, 50 plus years, Norwegian just celebrated uh, our 52nd anniversary a little bit ago. It's the vision of those individuals that still carry Norwegian today. We are known as the innovators in the industry. We do things a little bit different from everybody else. Uh, maybe because we were the first, and, and we continue to to lead the way in how we look at cruising. Um, the cruising industry has come so far from that point, uh, many of the first being accredited to Norwegian, such as the first kids program, the first uh, private island, and, of course, the thing that we're known for above and beyond anything else is, of course, freestyle cruising. The advantage with cruising with Norwegian is the freedom and flexibility that comes from freestyle cruising. It is the easiest way to cruise, especially if you're a non-cruiser. If you've never done it before, you don't know what to expect. We make it super, super easy um, for a first-timer. And even if you're an experienced cruiser, there is something for everybody on board the ship. So we offer the freedom and flexibility. We are committed to continue to offer the best and youngest fleet at sea. Um, Norwegian today is one of the top three cruise lines in the world. Um, it is never and was never our goal to be the largest of anything. We do not have the largest ships. That was not the point of um, the company. It is to be the best and to offer our clients, you guys, the best vacation and the best experience that we can give you on board our ships. And with that, we continue the commitment to um, updating our ships. And you just saw the video of the sky. We started the program of Norwegian Edge uh, approximately three years ago. We've been introducing almost every year a brand new, big, large ship. Um, and we've looked at the older fleet and we said, let's bring those ships up to the standard of the newer ones. So when you step on board one of the older fleets, you will not be able to know the difference. And that's, that's the commitment that we're holding on to. Norwegian is known for superb dining choices. Um, many of you might know that Norwegian Cruise Line is a part of Norwegian Cruise Line Holdings, our parent company. 
is made up of three brands, Norwegian Cruise Line, Region 7 Seas, and Oceana Cruises. It's one umbrella with the three brands. Um, that purchase was completed about 2015. What we've gained from it, each line has learned from the other. Norwegian has always been fantastic with Broadway shows and entertainment. The other two being luxury and upper luxury have always had fantastic food. We've learned from each other. Norwegian has gained the food aspect of it, and the other brands have gotten our entertainment. We are known for our rich accommodations and stateroom mix. And I'll talk about that in a, further in a little bit. But if you've sailed with Norwegian before, you might have heard Norwe uh, the Haven by Norwegian, or you might have heard the studios. Those are what Norwegian today is known for uh, when it comes to accommodations. But I'll get to that in a little bit. Um, next slide, please, Al. Okay, so we spoke a little bit about freestyle cruising. Um, it goes beyond just freedom and flexibility. Um, when we first introduced this concept, this was in the late 90s, um, and we had to do significant renovations on our ships to get them up to date for freestyle cruising. Now, imagine taking one of these ships, the Sky, for example, uh, and cutting the ship literally in half and inserting a third piece and then putting the ship back together. That's what we did with the first set of ships that underwent our freestyle cruising changes. And the idea behind it is to add the dining options and to give our, our guests options when it comes to the entertainment and the bars and um, the lounges and, and whatever it is that you want to do on board the ship, we're going to make sure you have options. And that's one of the key things when it comes to Norwegian is the options. Um, I spoke about the entertainment. As far as the unique inter-island Hawaii offering, Norwegian does this better than anybody else. And the reason for that is we have the Pride of America based in Hawaii. She is very, very special uh, being the only U.S. flag ship that is allowed to do that. What does that mean for you guys? If you take any other Hawaiian cruise with another brand, you will have to find your way into California. It's probably going to be Long Beach or San Francisco uh, to board a ship to touch a foreign port before you can go into Hawaii. Remember, this is all U.S. territory. Cruise ships in general are flagged with a foreign country. Many of them are Bahamas. Some of them are P Panama. So they're not U.S. flagged. The Pride of America is U.S. flagged. She never has to leave U.S. waters. So when you're flying to get on the Pride of America in Honolulu, you do not need a passport because we never have to go to a foreign port before coming back to the U.S. Altogether, it's about 100 hours in port when you do the Hawaiian cruise. I started to talk about the rich stateroom mix uh, for all our clients. When you look at any uh, cruise line, everybody will offer you an inside cabin or a, an ocean view with a picture window, a balcony, or some kind of suite. Norwegian has gone one step further, and we've added the Haven complex. It is um, a ship within a ship kind of concept. It's very exclusive. You have to be staying in that area to have access to the area. I like to describe it as when you're staying in the Haven complex, you can go out and play with the entire ship, and then you go back into your Haven area, and the entire ship can't come to where you are. So you have the best of everything. Uh, um, included in the, those accommodations is butler service and concierge service. You've got your own lounge. You've got your own restaurant, your own pool area. So there really is, if you did not want to come out of that area, you really wouldn't have to. 
On the flip side of that, uh, we've added something similar for single travelers. Traditionally, when you're traveling as a single on a cruise, you end up paying double the amount as 200%. We've gone ahead and added a studio complex for single travelers. Um, specially priced, so we're not charging that 200% that typically a solo traveler would, would um, be responsible for. And it's a similar setup where you've got the, the singles lounge as well. Um, best onboard product for multi-generation and non-cruisers. It's freestyle cruising. We make it as simple as possible. You can do as much or as little as you want to do when you're on board the ship. And it's really up to you to, to say, I'm interested in doing A, B, and C, but I won't do um, the E or F, whatever. It is totally up to you, and we are absolutely fine with that. Um, a lot of people have the traditional view of cruising where everything is structured. You have early dining, you have late dining, you have certain games or um, game shows at certain times of the day. That is not Norwegian. We are not going to tell you that dinner is at 5.30 every night and you're assigned to one dining room. That's just not how we do things. That's the core of freestyle cruising. We've got several uh, restaurant options. You guys are free to go at any time that you want to. Do we recommend reservations? Absolutely, especially if you're traveling in a big party. But it's really up to you guys. And there is always a 24-hour option that's available as well. So if you've got an early dinner and you want to, at midnight, go find a hot dog or a burger somewhere, it's absolutely available for you. Um, most varied dining in the contemporary space. I spoke a little bit about that with borrowing ideas from our luxury uh, sisters. Um, and then continued investment in the modern fleet. The Norwegian, the Norwegian Edge program continues. The Norwegian Sky was the most recent ship to undergo uh, refurbishment. Um, we've got the Norwegian Spirit scheduled to undergo refurbishment as well. And when you guys, um, the video that you saw didn't do it justice. When these ships are refurbished, they go into dry dock, and they're basically stripped down to the steel, and everything is rebuilt. So it's really an extensive process. Uh, next slide, please, Al. So from a little cruise line based in Miami with one ship going to the Caribbean, this is what Norwegian Cruise Line looks like today. Freestyle cruising goes global. So we have departures from Hong Kong to Dubai and Barcelona to Honolulu and everywhere in between. And we continue to grow and we continue to offer you guys more options. There's that word again when it comes to travel, when it comes to your vacation. And we would love to be your choice when you decide to plan your vacation. And with that, uh, next slide, Al. With the uh, global growth of Norwegian Cruise Line, we'll continue to invest in the fleet, update the existing fleet, but also add new ships. Um, but on, in 2017, we introduced the Norwegian Joy. She was specifically built for the China market. and as of, I want to say a couple of days ago, has completed a total update to bring her up to the standard of her sister ship, which is the Norwegian Bliss. We welcomed the Bliss last year in 2018. She was specifically built for Alaska. Um, the most outstanding feature on the Bliss and the Joy is an addition that Norwegian made in the very front portion of the ship. It's an observation lounge, which allows our guests to be comfortable inside in the warmth and still be able to take in the amazing vistas of um, Alaska. And later on this month, in uh, towards the end of April, beginning of May, the Joy will join Bliss in Seattle 
to begin her uh, first uh, tour of North America doing Alaska alongside her sister, The Bliss, in Seattle. And uh, later this year, we'll welcome the Encore, another uh, breakaway size uh, ship. So these are, these are mega ships. These are big girls. And then if you look ahead to 2022 and on, we have a new class of ships scheduled to be delivered, and they will be a bit scaled back. They're going to be smaller than what you've seen from Norwegian in recent years. And the idea behind that is to allow us to visit ports that the big ships aren't able to get into and also to add more departure ports um, possibly smaller areas in um, the U.S. market. Next slide, please. So now we can continue to grow, and our client is everybody and anybody. Um, there is something on board each of these ships that will appeal to uh, families to multi-generational families if they're traveling together, uh, to the solo travelers, to foodies. Um, there is something for everybody on these ships and, and something to appeal to, to everybody. Next, please. And it's not just uh, the investment in our ships and, and keeping everything fresh and updated for our guests. We're doing the same thing to our private islands. Uh, we've got Great Star P in the Bahamas and Harvest K off the coast of Belize, both of which have recently undergone, um, especially for uh, Great Star P, uh, extensive improvements. We've added a line of villas. Those small buildings that you can see in the picture are actual villas that you are able to, to rent and take advantage of. This is one of the ports that you will be stopping at on your, on your cruise to Cuba. Next slide, please, Al. That's another shot of the beach at Great Sur Key. And this is Harvest Key off uh, the coast of Belize. This is another uh, private destination. It's a little bit different than Great Sur Key, which is our private island. This is a private destination where um, it's Norwegian owned, but the facilities on board are operated by a third party, uh, so they're not all Norwegian. Next slide, please. Up, oh, thank you. Go back one, please, Alex. Okay, just to, to give you an idea of a Harvest K, that um, tower that's in the back, that is what we call the flight house. You will see one when you guys get to um, Great Star Key as well. Uh, that is the heart of the island. You've got zip lines, you've got um, bouncing areas, um, zip lines going every direction from that tower. You've got the beach area, you have got the um, lagoon that's there, the, the pool with a swim-up bar, it's lots and lots to do on, on the island. Next, please, Al. So, free tea um, is our offer that's been in the market for a couple of years. You guys may have heard about it. Um, what Norwegian has done is added value to our pricing. We found that people like the idea of getting the extras. The offers uh, where we'll give you the um, beverage package or dining package or um, shore excursions, um, those are out there for you to take advantage of and those are built into the group that you were able to take advantage of with, with Al's um, help and part of it being the fundraiser that you're, you're also raising money for your school, which is fantastic. So it's, when you think of Norwegian Cruise Line, you consider um, the value versus the price, and we've built in the value with all the added amenities that you're getting. It's not just um, the price that's out there. There's a lot more that goes into it. Next, please, Al. 
All right. So Cruise Next. Cruise Next, the Cruise Next program is our deposit. It's basically an investment in your next cruise with Norwegian. These are available for you to purchase when you're on board. And the typical deposit for a seven-day cruise on Norwegian is $250 per person. So the cost to purchase one deposit is $250. On the cruise that you're on, when you make that purchase, Norwegian gives you back $100 on board credit. So in theory, you're paying $150 for that deposit. Each person is allowed to purchase up to four, and they are good for four years. You can transfer them. What we have is a lot of grandparents who travel, and knowing that they want to maybe the following year plan um, a family vacation, they'll buy four or six or eight. And when they get back, they'll transfer them to their children and their grandchildren uh, for each cabin that's being booked. So it's, it really is a great program, and the more you buy, the more onboard credit you get back on the cruise that you're on. Next please, Al. Similar to the cruise next is the Welcome Back Rewards, um, which is an offer that you will get when you return. If you miss buying the cruise next on board the ship, this an email, a welcome back will be waiting for you when you get back from your cruise, so you have an option to do it that way as well. It's not as rich. The onboard credit that you receive is $75 towards your next cruise, uh, but the values are still the same when it comes to the deposit. Next slide, All right, so Havana, Cuba. Um, I hope you guys are very excited about this. I was over the moon when I had the opportunity to go a couple years ago. Um, Havana is known as the door to Cuban soul. I felt when I left Cuba that I left a piece of me. It is absolutely gorgeous, and it is literally stepping back in time. Um, I chose to do this same cruise that you're doing as my introduction to Havana and to Cuba um, on the basis that, one, I don't speak the language, and two, it was completely um, a foreign land to me. Never been there. I knew, knew some of the history, but I was not familiar with Cuba at all. I'm from Jamaica. Cuba is our closest neighbor and still a mystery um, to most of us. So that's... Doing it, going to Cuba and visiting on the cruise ship, which is familiar to me, was for me personally the best way, the best introduction um, to Cuba. Uh, next slide, please. If you dock in Havana, you are literally across the street from this cathedral. Uh, you dock, and I want to try to paint a picture for you guys that the terminal is pretty much a long hallway. You disembark the ship. The first thing you're going to do when you enter the terminal is you uh, will go through immigration. I will be honest with you guys, this is the only port that I've ever been to where you have to provide your passport to get off and get on the ship each time. It's very, very strict. But once you go through immigration, you pass through the security lines. And at the end of the long hallway is your opportunity to exchange money. Um, once you've done that, you can go ahead and um, if you're doing a t going directly into a tour, you'll be escorted downstairs to where the motor coaches are waiting um, and taken out to your excursion for the day. Next slide, please. All right. So everybody has an idea of the recent history of Cuba. Um, most notably with Fidel Castro. But Cuba really has a long and rich history 
link with uh, other European countries and uh, a strong tie to um, Africa and to um, to slavery. Uh, so it's very, very, it's a very rich culture. It, there is a lot to see and a lot to learn while you're there. Next slide, please. Al. Things to know while you're there. Um, some of basic information, but what I really want to focus on for you guys, I told you about um, converting money, the currency and shopping. You can do that inside the terminal as you go through security. It is from my experience, one of the few opportunities you'll have to do that. Um, credit cards are very, very, are accepted very limited, very, very limited. So if you take that opportunity as you disembark to um, to get some, some money converted. The other thing that I wanted to point out on this slide is the best way to get around uh, is absolutely, definitely organized short excursions. Um, I highly recommend that you use Norwegian. If not, you want to um, make sure that the excursion that you're using and the operator, the tour operator that you're using is offering OFAC recognized um, tours. Uh, the other reason why I encourage you guys to use Norwegian tours is if for any reason you are running late, the excursion is late coming back to the ship. When you're booked on a Norwegian cruise with, um, excuse me, with a Norwegian excursion, the ship knows where you are and how long it will be, and they will hold the ship. If you're booked on an outside with an outside vendor, we have no idea, and they'll wait for a little bit, but um, the ship can't wait indefinitely. So that's that's something to keep in mind when you do that. One of the best short excursions that you can do is the Tropicana, and that one tends to run late. Uh, it's a cabaret show at night. It usually goes from about 8.30 to maybe 10.30-ish, 11 o'clock, thereabouts. And it does take about half hour to get from the venue, from the Tropicana location, back to the ship. Um, if you're doing it with an outside vendor, just be super, super careful and make sure that you have enough time to get back to the ship before um, departure time. Um, the last thing on the slide that I wanted to point out, and I'm sure Al's going to go over it with you guys, is the important info. Make sure you've got your travel documents. Make sure everybody everybody needs a passport. Everybody needs a visa. So um, I, it, I'm sure Al's been drilling it into you guys. I will do the same thing. We want you guys to go and experience and enjoy it and not have any difficulties. Next slide, please, Al. Thank you. Um, these are just a, a few of the excursions that are available uh, through Norwegian. You will find similar ones. And I'm, I'm going to say it again, please, guys, if you're going to go outside of Norwegian to do this, make sure you're checking to make sure that they are OFAC compliant uh, tour operators, that the tours that they are providing for you do meet the standards. Um, and these are things that you want to keep a record of when you get back from your cruise uh, for five years following your visit to Cuba. Next slide, please, Al. And that is it for me. And thank you very uh, much. Thank you so much, uh, Shereen, for for going over the uh, presentation with us and presenting Norwegian to some of the new people. We have some great questions that's been coming in that we'll answer sure. towards the end. So keep having those questions uh, coming in. Shereen, I know if you need to uh, step off, feel very free to go ahead and drop out. I just want to thank you mm -hmm. once again for supporting uh, not only Stargaze Vacations, but FAMU uh, Alumni Association uh, with this, this great cruise. You've been a, a great help to us, and I know you will continue to, to support us uh, through this and on to the next one. Uh, Absolutely. So with that being, Thank you very much. You're welcome. With that being said, uh, we're going to get dive uh, quickly into a quick overview. Uh, so if you haven't been to this uh, website on the right-hand side, 
That's the Stargate Vacation website that we built for you guys. It has tons of information on there for you, everything you need, uh, some frequent asked questions, uh, the new cruise ship, uh, the, 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 re the new video of the Norwegian skies on there. Uh, so it has a lot of information, has the itinerary on there. You'll be able to see everything if you go to the website. Also, is that important payment link uh, that's on there, uh, so you can make sure you get your your payments in uh, on time. Everyone's been doing a great job with that. Uh, just want you to know this website's out there. You can always call us. Uh, the itinerary has not changed uh, at all. It, you know, you can see it there, but I just will stress. Uh, the orange and green uh, welcome party that's going to happen the first night. And then we have uh, Havana. We have a full day in Havana. Uh, so uh, day two would be the day to do the uh, any late night excursions like the Tropicana. Day two would be the day because day three we're going to be – we'll be out uh, before some people wake up. Uh, we'll be departing at 6 a.m. Uh, and so that will be a sea day. But that evening will be a uh, – will be the, the R&B party. We're still working a music list. Uh, I would dare to say email me one or two of your favorite songs, uh, not a complete album, uh, one or two, and we'll uh, get that list uh, to Norwegian, and they'll be prepped for you guys. Uh, day four is the Great Stirrup Key. Uh, once again, uh, they've updated this. I, I've been here twice. They've updated the beach. I haven't been since the last updates. I uh, can't wait to get there uh, with you guys. It's going to be, and there's great food uh, on the island. They're going to have food for us there. Uh, they'll have drinks there. There's shelter there and everything. Uh, there's also some cabanas you can rent. Uh, the cabana spacing, you'll have actual service. Uh, so you'll have someone servicing you, bringing your, your, your drinks, your food. You'll have towels. Uh, and the cabanas are very nice. Uh, you could rent them out for up to, I think, eight to ten people. So that's something to consider. And then finally, we'll return back to Miami uh, on the on the fifth uh, on the fifth day, and we should arrive back at 7 a.m. As she had talked about, uh, I had I've had quite a few calls lately. Uh, I have a website down there, a better website to remember to register. It's very simple, uh, ncl.com, stands for Norwegian Cruise Line, so ncl.com. If you go to that cruise line uh, or that website, go ahead and register and make your account. That way you can do your online check-in. That way you can uh, uh, do your online check-in, start getting updates, explore the ship. You can even book your excursions there. You can always call me. I can help you book your excursions. But one of the things I cannot do, and several people have signed up for, is the uh, reserve your table for specialty dining. Uh, Norwegian is freestyle, but the specialty restaurants, uh, if you do freestyle at the specialty restaurant, you might be waiting a while because they only serve so many people in a, in a block of 15. Uh, every, like every 15 minutes, they uh, seat people. And they're, they're usually open starting around uh, sixes. Six to about closing at 10, and they serve a, a lot of people. And I know we're a large group, but within the large group, there's other people that are selling and celebrating anniversaries, birthdays, and people that just want to sit together. Uh, they will not reserve a table for eight or a table for, you know, six people or anything like that. You need to, so if you have a large group, what you need to do, you need to communicate now, create your account, and then everyone decide the day and the time in that group that they will all want to be seated together, and they will seat you close to each other as possible. Uh, I would say go on the ship, uh, day one on the ship, even after you've registered for your specialty dining, day one on the ship, go to guest services, and everyone that wants to sit together have at least one card from that cabin to say these are the cabins we want all together. They will need the ship card because uh, the ship card is how they will track everything. Uh, 
I, I've tried that before with just giving the cabin number. Uh, it's pretty rough when you just give the cabin number. So ncl.com is the, uh, the website to register. If you do need me to do your check-in, I can do your check. I can do your check-in for you. So, also, this is where you will get your e-documents. We will be sending out everyone e-documents mid-May. Uh, we plan on sending out uh, mid to late May e-documents. Here's your checklist. Most everyone has done has done the things they need to do. Just remember, passport book with one blank page, no passport cards. Must be a passport book. Do complete your OFAC form online. You could call me, I can help you walk you through it. I've done that for quite a few people. If you need help with that, please call me, I will help you. Uh, keep checking your emails. Uh, some people, <laughs> I had w one person call me uh, tonight, I won't uh, give out the name, but they say that they haven't been checking their emails, and, and that's fine. It happens. Call me. If you need an update, give me a call. Uh, most of you have selected your group amenities, and the most popular group of amenity has been the specialty dining. So we have uh, 100 and 405 cabins with our group right now. Uh, some people had to drop off for different things, but we're about at 105 cabins. Imagine two people per cabin. And then those people are going to go dine. They may dine at the same time they, you want to dine, but the ship holds 2,005 guests. So I'm trying to stress it. If you want the specialty dining, sign up for, for it because they will stop it. After a while, there will, no be, there will not be any more availability. If you want to sit or be seated as a group, uh, you know, as, as close as they could get you as a group or dine at the same time, Start communicating with each other and figure out those days and times right now. Uh, you will get the first notice when you can start reserving your, your dining, your specialty dining. That's for the specialty restaurant only, your specialty dining seats if you register. You'll get notified first that it's open to start reserving. So do that. Final reminder, final payments due by the 24th of April. Uh, please get that in to me. You could call it in. You can use the client portal. I'm sorry if the client portal hasn't been working uh, well for some people. We've been working through the, the, the glitches. Or you could use the secure uh, online payment form that comes directly to us. We verify all the information before the payment is sent. So if you fill that out, it doesn't automatically pay your, your bill. It comes to our agency and we verify the information then then we process it. Uh, we have a, quite a few questions coming in, and we're going to get to those here in just a second. Let me get to the next slide. So I don't know, Van, are you out there? Did you make it? Did you dial in? Uh, Van was supposed to be our guy dialing in. I don't see him as a host. I'm here. Oh, you, you are here. Great, great. Yes, Van is here. So I'm going to turn it over to Van, uh, so he can speak to you guys about some things going on with the with this fundraiser, with this fundraiser, and uh, I'll chime in whenever you need me, Van. So it's all yours. Okay, thank you, Al. Good evening, everyone. Uh, on behalf of the uh, NAA fundraising committee, I welcome you, and we are excited about this cruise and hope that you are too. A uh, couple of things. Um, we, uh, Al went over the itinerary, and uh, one of the things that uh, we plan to do is everybody on the cruise, the, the NAA Orange and Green cruise, we plan to provide a, a T-shirt for you guys. Now, it Here's the catch, and this is very important. I know Stargaze Vacations sent out uh, emails to everybody that had booked requesting uh, your permission to release your information to our committee. And part of the reason for that was we needed to, to know who's going on a cruise 
so that we can contact you, get your T-shirt sizes, how many, et cetera, et cetera, so that we can have that all ready for you when you board the ship. Uh, we still need to do that. Um, unfortunately, uh, Stargaze is in a, in, a, in a pinch because of privacy laws. They, 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 they can't just release the information to us. So we need everybody on, booked on a cruise to send in that form back to Stargaze Vacation and have them release your information to the committee. Now, I understand if, if there are some people who don't want to do that, that's, that's fine, but we'll have to find another way to, to get your information so that you'll have a T-shirt. Um, if, and if there are questions around that, we can address it, but we do need to, to, to be able to contact you. And uh, without necessarily going through our Stargaze vacation, because after all, they are busy doing other other things. Um, the other thing, um, Al mentioned, uh, we have a couple of parties uh, that we're going to do on the ship. Uh, the first night, the welcome reception. Uh, committee is still working on some of the details behind these two, but just know that uh, we're going to have two events. Uh, one, the welcome party the first night, and then the R&B old school party. Um, more and more information will be uh, brought forth uh, once the committee finalizes uh, the, the details of, of each of these uh, uh, events. Uh, let's see. Um, I think that's, that's pretty much it from, from my committee standpoint right now. We just need to, to be able to contact you and get the information we need to move forward. And if you have questions, please uh, send them in, and, and we'll, let, we'll uh, address them in the uh, Q&A uh, session. Thanks, Al. All right. Thank you, Van. Uh, like Van said, we, we, we really want to uh, keep the excitement and the energy going for this, uh, getting those T-shirts, uh, identifying that you went on the uh, the first the first the the first FEMU uh, alumni association cruise. Uh, it's it, that's just going to be super to have uh, the date on there and everything that type of deal. So they're going to really identify that. So really uh, get those forms filled out. So I I'll, I'll do a resend of the forms. Uh, so you'll receive those more likely either late tonight or first thing tomorrow. Get those completed. Uh, if you think you've already completed it once, fill it out again. It won't hurt. Uh, we'll get that information to them, and that'll be something that uh, we'll try to get those T-shirts delivered uh, the first day so you'll be able to wear them that evening. Uh, so I just wanted to just give you give you that note. We do have some questions. Uh, that have been in some, some really good questions, a lot of good questions are coming in. So I'm going to go over a few of those questions. But I, I just want to remind everyone uh, on this particular cruise, on each Norwegian cruise, there's a white out night, a hot, a hot white night that's when you wear all white. Uh, don't know the, which day this will be on this cruise, but if you have an all white outfit and you want to wear that out, uh, just so you guys don't feel like the newbies. I just want you guys to know that about Norwegian. That's one of the uh, fun events of the night. Uh, also, uh, I will be on the ship. Uh, I'm going for the agency. Uh, I know it's pretty tough. I got to go on a cruise to Cuba, but I'm going to go. I'm going to have a great time. I've enjoyed talking with you guys, but I will also be taking information as well. Uh, I'll be working. So it'll be a working trip for me. So if you see me, don't, don't, don't be uh, concerned about, hey, he's on vacation. Uh, well, I'm always on vacation. Uh, that's my job. Uh, so come up to me, talk to me. Let's get you registered. If you didn't get registered for your T-shirt, we'll get you registered then. Uh, we're here to, to help help you guys. So we're going to go over. I'm going to start with the, uh, the couple of questions that we've had. We've had some really good questions, uh, and you keep them coming in, and we'll 
uh, do our best to get these up on the board as well. Uh, how do we, first question, how do we get a confirmation of the visa application? Uh, that is great, of the OFAC application. <laughs> once we finalize all the, the cabins, uh, once again, mid, uh, mid-May to uh, mid-June, we will be uh, looking at a detailed booking report to see which cabins have completed that process. Uh, those forms go directly to Norwegian, and so we'll see who's completed that process, and then we'll get you, uh, we'll get, uh, we'll let you know if you have not completed it. Uh, so if you don't hear from us, you're good to go. Matter of fact, we may, we may just send you an email just letting you know you're good. Uh, it's always good to have a warm, uh, fuzzy feeling that you get that completed. Uh, here's a question, uh, question, a newbie question. Uh, is there a limit to the number of bags we could bring uh, on ship? Uh, that's the first part of the question, uh, or the first question. No, there's not a limit, but remember, you want to don't bring so many bags where you can't store your stuff. This is this is a relatively short uh, cruise. It's a five day. It's a a, a five day. Uh, storage will be limited. Uh, you can store your stuff underneath the bed. So there's plenty of room to store your stuff underneath the bed. You could probably get uh, two to three large suitcases underneath there, uh, but you don't want too many suitcases. Uh, I say two large and one small. You know, carry on, uh, not including your purse or something like that, uh, would be what you want to. You don't want to go overboard for that. I mean, that's really for a 14-day cruise, uh, <laughs> two large suitcases. But yeah, just remember, uh, uh, if you are, if you're flying, you got to pay for those bags unless you're first class, and then you pay for it that way. Uh, next question was, can we walk around Cuba uh, self-guided? Yes, you can. Uh, that's what uh, Shireen, the Norwegian BDM, said. When you walk right off and go through customs, <coughs> excuse me, you will be uh, right there. You'll be you'll be in Cuba, and you can walk around, look, shop. Uh, I will tell you, do not buy any uh, Cuban cigarettes from anybody on the street. It is illegal to do that. These type of uh, this information like this. It is on the website, on the FAQs. Also, I have a great Expedia video out there so you could uh, look at Cuba and, and see some a great video and footage what Cuba's like. That's on the website as well. Uh, but only buy from confirmed uh, sources. Uh, they will pick you up, and there's no leniency if you're buying cigars for people just walking around the street trying to sell you a cigar. They're going to do it. Don't buy it. Buy it from in the store. Uh, next question was, let me scroll down to it. I, I really don't know what this one means. What does the Cuban rum cigars art? To, okay, what does the Cuban uh, the Cuban rum cigars and art uh, tour entail? Uh, so it. Basically, you're going to visit uh, a Cuban uh, rum factory, how they make uh, rum. You're going to see how they make cigars. Uh, they have a lot of art uh, tours in Cuba. Uh, there's a lot of great art in Cuba, and so you'll you'll do that. Uh, I would say this would be one of the longer walking tours. Uh, so just make sure you uh, have some comfortable shoes for that day in Cuba uh, to do some some walking if you decide to do one of the walking uh, tours of that nature. So that's what that's going to entail. Probably the Cuban r rum, uh, most of the Cuban rum, they you get sample. They usually do samples. Uh, so don't oversample. <laughs> uh, here, here's a great question, and I appreciate this question. Uh, I'll, I'll give uh, uh, Robin Moore a shout out for this question. Uh, can we use the NCL app? To communicate to each other on the ship, yes, you can. Uh, download the app. The app will activate once you get uh, on or near the ship in the proximity of the ship. Uh, that's how it is for most cruise lines. It is that that NCL app. Uh, it used to be called the Concierge app. 
Uh, I got it on my phone here. I'll look see what's called now. But that app, you'll get the updates of everything going on that day on the ship, uh, actually that week, uh, if you will, on the ship. Now, they'll deliver paper uh, information to you as well uh, each day in the cabin. But you can actually see what's going on, and I believe the app has a messaging. Uh, maybe it's, I don't believe it's voice. I think it's just messaging at this point. I'm trying to open it up, but once again, uh, it, it, you have to be closer to the, uh, to the ship. But it also, uh, if you download that app now, it'll tell you uh, how many days you have until you get there. You can see all these, the 41 ex, uh, excursions that's available, the 13 different dinings that are available, uh, the two entertainment shows they're going to do. And actually, they have more than eight bars and lounges. It says eight on there. They're up to 11. Uh, you can order gifts. Do some onboard onboard shopping. There's just a ton ton of information there, and they will send you emails and updates. So download that Norwegian app, uh, whether you're on iPhone or or Android. Uh, here's another question: Is there a dress code uh, at any of the specialty dining restaurants? Uh, one of the great things about Norwegian, it's a relaxed environment, but you can't do swimming trunks. Uh, at the at the specialty dining restaurants, uh, so it's a it's a casual. I wouldn't say business casual. You could do formal if you like, uh, formal down to to casual. Uh, most of the time, at the specialty restaurant, they like the men to to have a collared shirt. So that could be a polo shirt or it can be a dress shirt, but. Uh, Norwegian is very relaxed, so I've seen people with uh, blue jean shorts uh, in the specialty dining area at times. They sort of stick out because it's very formal in the specialty restaurants. It is very formal, so uh, it's a great time to have a good dinner, and they will have a photographer going around taking photos, uh, so it's a great time for those celebrating birthday, birthdays and anniversaries. You can take those photo pictures. Uh, and buy them later on, so uh, it's, uh, that'll be pretty good. Uh, someone has already said they didn't receive the form for the T-shirt, so please make sure we send it again. Uh, yes, we're, we're going to do that. We'll try to add on some sizes if uh, the committee gets us, you know, the sizes that they're going to order, and you know, we'll we'll update the form. But there is a standard form right now that the release of information, that's what Ben was talking about. Uh, we're going to try to simplify this for uh, our company. is going to try to simplify this, simplify it for uh, the committee and for everyone going on the cruise. Uh, so we'll give us a day or two to get something together to where we'll have some shirt sizes and we'll have uh, information as far as that you can put the number of people, the number of shirts. Uh, and I believe the shirts are just for the individuals on the uh, the cruise. We'll try to put something out there for uh, if you want to buy directly. Uh, maybe Sam, you will put something a link to their to their uh, gift shop website, and you can buy them from there as well. Uh, you never know. So I think that's all the the, the big questions. Uh, the most common thing that people are calling me about question-wise is the visa, the, the OFAC form. Uh, don't hesitate to call me. Uh, the form is in, doesn't have the best layout, but you must have that form completed. Uh, it's, just, it's just required. Uh, so if, if there are people out there that don't get on the computer and go online, uh, please give me a call. Uh, and then we'll work through something else to see how we could get that uh, completed for you. Uh, we may have to get Norwegian directly on the line to, to help you with that, but we'll, we'll get it done. Uh, and so everything is going great. Uh, if anyone knows of more people that know of people that want to still go, there are cabins available at the current rate. So share with your, share with your friends. And I would say, 
to take advantage of this time to spend time together, but also think what you guys want to do on the on the next group cruise. Uh, and that you could do on the on the next group cruise. Uh, we're going to try to choose a destination uh, for you, something great and exciting. Uh, we may be with Norwegian again, or we may go with a, a different cruise line, but we're going to get something great with a lot of great amenities like this time, like the open bar, uh, which is just outstanding, uh, great value. So, oh, I have one question come in, one last question. Uh, yeah, they, they asked if you can send out a, 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 a JOT form. We we use a different online form, and that's what we'll 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 use that and send that out, uh, and we'll we'll get that out there. Uh, we'll get that to you guys. Uh, uh, probably, like I said, the standard form is already created. We'll resend it, so you guys can have opportunity to fill that out. Uh, are there any more? Any more questions, any more uh, concerns or anything, uh, you go ahead, we'll do a, a, a couple of seconds for last last inputs. Okay, well, I want to tell you your numbers, your success, 104 cabins for initial cruise. That is awesome. I mean, that is outstanding. Uh, you guys are raising a lot of money. Uh, some people are starting to log off, but don't log off just yet because I'm going to tell you the surprise. Uh, share this with your friends. Uh, Stargaze Vacation is going to do a lot of giveaways on this cruise because you went on the cruise. And we might be giving away a cruise to a special person uh, that enters the raffles and drawings that we will have on the cruise ship. So you may have a chance to win a three- to five-day cruise uh, for two people on Stargaze Vacations. So share with your friends. Let them know there's going to be some great gifts out there that you could get uh, for the different entertainment. And those things will be, we'll do those drawings and that kind of stuff and registration during the orange and green and then also during the uh, old school R&B. So don't shy away from me. If you see me, come up to me, get registered. And let's all have some great fun together. Uh, Van, did you have anything else, sir? Uh, no, I'm I'm good. If we can uh, just move this thing forward, and I can't wait for uh, August to show up. All right, everyone. Well, have a great night. Don't forget, give me a call. Uh, you have my contact information. And thank you so much for booking with Stargaze Vacations. We really uh, appreciate it. So we're going to end it here. Good night to everyone.